Hello, everyone joining us. We are about to go live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our first live pitch event here at Pitch Your CIP, Creative Intellectual Property. Uh, my guests are appearing. Hi, Torsten. And Jens will also be joining us. Um, hello. So yes, our first live pitch event um, in this community. Uh, we started Pitch Your CIP in mid-May and are really thrilled to already have 800 members in our community from across the publishing and creative industries from worldwide. Um, why did we start Pitch Your CIP? Uh, I think like most of you, we were missing gatherings and events and matchmakings and networkings. And this was our, um, yeah, our initiative to kind of counteract some of these lost opportunities. And so this is a community to pitch your content, your stories. It is a place to reverse pitch. So if you have a platform and are looking for content, this is the place to launch the call. Um, it is a place to hear from experts. And most importantly, um, a place, of course, to interact, to get to know each other, and to forge partnerships. So today, yeah, we have something very special <laughs> to look forward to. We have Torsten. Uh, and Jens from Unger and Fiedler joining us and pitching, presenting, and in fact premiering uh, their IP, Captain Hogg. I think we are really excited about this IP because it really um, kind of encapsulates everything that we want to do with this community, this notion of taking a character, taking a story, and really seeing where it can go, all the different platforms. Um, and I think like me, you'll be very impressed with what Torsten and Jens have put together. Um, a fantastic character, um, a great story, beautiful animation, wonderful music, um, and also a mission. Um, and um, I think with the right partners, this IP has long legs and we are definitely, yeah, we're curious and excited to see where the journey will, will take Captain Hogg. Um, so before I introduce Torsten and Jens, uh, just to let you know, if you have any questions, just uh, write those directly into the Facebook chat and we will get to those afterwards. Torsten and Jens will also um, be around to answer some questions directly in the chat afterwards. We are recording um, this session, so if you want to rewatch it or share it with colleagues after the fact, um, please do. Uh, so yes, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Torsten Jens. So Torsten Unga, welcome. Uh, the CEO of Unga and Fiedler, an agency for transmedia storytelling. Um, he is also the founder of Wegesrand, an innovation consultancy, and um, is an investor in the indie studio Liked Dimensions. Happy to have you here, Torsten. Mm -hmm. And you. Jens Fiedler, um, who is also an art director with Unga and Fiedler. He has been in the games industry for over a decade, um, has developed numerous games and characters for companies such as Disney and uh, the FIFA. Um, so welcome to you both. And I will hand off to both of you and to Captain Hogg. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much, uh, Stephanie. It's a pleasure for us to uh, give you a small brief about our new IP, Captain Hawk. Uh, we developed on this uh, for one and a half year now, and I think it's worth uh, sharing, and we are very happy to get as much feedback as possible, because this, uh, of course, is also uh, one of the reasons why we are happy to be with uh, Pitch Your Zip, uh, because we find uh, so many experts here and so many talented people. Um, I want to share my screen, and as always, this is a tiny risk doing something Thing like this live, but we try our best now. So uh, let us go on a ride to uh, this island called Paradise. And it should work now, hopefully, like this. 
Okay, so um, yeah, some, some small notice about uh, Unger and Fiedler. Um, we are a transmedia studio. Uh, we decided to create um, an, some kind of an agency which is uh, working on complete worlds. Um, we have um, the mission that we focus on creating a vision with a strong storyline and interesting characters who can transport the mood of a world which can work in several media that's our brand mission and that does mean that we are not only thinking of uh, one kind of special uh, format like a game or even uh, an audiobook or uh, a screenplay we are thinking of worlds which work 360 degrees in any angle so that's the mission we are going for um, we are a, a bunch of a collective of 25 uh, creatives we are working on several things like um, educational projects, like games, like audio uh, productions, and even also on screenplay uh, projects. And, and we put these experts together in order to discuss such a story world. And uh, the result, uh, one of these results is Captain Hawk. And I want to give you a small uh, introduction why we came to uh, Captain Hawk as it is as it is now and we want uh, and as it as we wanted to present to you the story about captain hawk is uh the story about uh, of uh three uh, pirates children um they, they get a pi get pirates in this universe but the basic story behind is that we want to empower children about climate change and responsibility for their environment um we we thought of this is a very interesting topic because everybody has to get in touch with this because it's one of our biggest missions we have as human um, uh, mankind and uh, we thought of how could we create something like that and we we did a lot of research and we found something which you may know which is called kodame um, this is a japanese uh, myth about uh, natural uh, natural spirits and uh, this gives nature a face and we thought of this is very very nice if it comes to uh, the idea of how could we create an interface between nature and, uh, and, uh, and, and characters in order that these spirits could express what is happening with nature right now. So this is something where, where we looked very, very deeply into and thought of, okay, this really helps us to empower young children uh, because they can now communicate with the nature around them. Uh, they can understand what happens with, with nature. And by watching this TV series, they, 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 they find out, okay, this is happening to nature and they can see our protagonist, how they deal with that situation. So this is the basic idea. And uh, we have, uh, as I expressed, uh, more than these two people working on that and we just asked four of our colleagues which are also involved in the project what they think about that and these are their comments about Captain Hawk. I'm Lukas Pilz. I created the story world of Captain Hawk based on an idea of Anga and Fiedler, swimming pigs, treasures, pirate crews of fun characters, spirit of nature, all packed in an adventurous island, a world that will show the children they can change and will save the world. Thank you. Stories are a great tool to teach children some uh, important morals and values. Captain Hawk is the perfect example for me. Uh, as his adventures, um, they are tackling very important issues, but uh, they do it always with fun and joy. So it's always fun and joy for the children as well. For me as an author, writing this children's book is a very special task as I feel um, I'm preparing the next generation for their future. Through my volunteer work at Greenpeace, it is a concern of my heart to spread knowledge and especially positive narratives on topics such as climate change and environmental problems. Our target audience children is desperately in need for new perspectives in times like these. We provide them with exciting and playful stories. Hello, my name is Markus Vögeler and I wrote the Captain Hawk title song. The English voiceovers were recorded by a good old friend of mine called Rupert Gillett in London. I was involved to the Captain Hawk project from the beginning and I must say that everything and every character is really well thought and it will bring super duper fun to the children. So, good luck to you, Captain Hawk, and aye aye. So, uh, thank you, colleagues. Uh, and now we want to take you on a ride in a, with a small trailer to enter the island and uh, introduce the characters by this. Assembly, a clever and 
in danger now Nature and the spirits howl They protect the world each day With fun adventures on the way Cause here comes Captain Hawk and his friends They will always find the way Everyone can change the world If we just believe we'll be okay So welcome to the world of Captain Hawk and uh, Jens will now introduce a little bit more the storyline. And do show yourselves. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Thorsten. And welcome. Uh, Captain Hawk is a story about a group of animal friends who want to become pirates. One day they find a bottle in the sea which contains a treasure map. This map leads the group to a hidden cave where they find an old pirate chest within a ghost. The ghost is called Sally and was a leading pirate captain in the past. Uh, who want to guide the group to become successful pirates. But the meeting with Sally would also change their whole life into another direction. Since that day, Hawk and his friends are able to see nature spirits. And they can see and feel what damage they do to them if they harm any nature in any particular way. To avoid, uh, avoid any more suffer, the group decides to protect the tropical island against any ecological threats and try to change the world into a better place. A world of friendship, adventures, and the desire to protect the environment starts from this point. And that's the story of Captain Hawk in a short sense. Thorsten, right to you. Yeah, um, of course it was mentioned uh, already twice. Um, it, Captain Hawk has a message that's very important to us because this is a combination of uh, having a message and pure entertainment and fun for the children as well. So uh, this is media with a cause. You see these two uh, um, natural spirits over there. They are all over the island. And for us, it's very important that to have these communication points because they also can kick off the episodes and different kind of stories you want to tell. So uh, the myth of nature spirits represents the nature and give it a body and mind. And this helps us uh, to get more profile on that. So this is a metaphor for nature. Um, this is a simple communication way of communication of complex context for this uh, young target group. We are talking about the target group later on. And uh, this is not with a moralizing undertone. So uh, this is media with a cause, but it's also no finger pointing. Uh, the topic we have here is environmental protection and climate change. And it's about sustainability as a responsibility for all of us. Um, we want to empower young people for change and mo even more important, they, uh, we want them to understand understand that understanding is the basis for resistance. So um, we want to contribute a little bit more that these young people grew up with this understanding. Um, talking about the target audience, uh, we see this format, uh, especially for six to 10 year old children of any gender. Um, they should have, an, they are interested in funny adventure stories and they are curious about the environment. And we hope that they will learn something out of this series in order to have a better understanding of that, what happened in the world. Um, we have a focus group of 20 children, so you could be sure that we have a lot of pigs here, we have a lot of rats here, we have a lot of characters, because the characters are the result of this feedback we get from the target group. Um, yeah, that's about uh, how uh, we, we created this, this, uh, this um, world. Um, Captain Hawk was created as a transmedia product from the beginning. So it works as a screenplay. It could be a movie, it could be a, a series. It could work as an audiobook. It could work as, uh, as a book, of course. And this could be a comic strip and a novel as well. And it works as games. So we, took, uh, we, we looked a lot into that and how could we tell stories around this globe. And this is what we want to present to you guys. And uh, we are happy to discuss as much as uh, a lot with you. And uh, we are looking for partners. We are looking for people who want to join us on our trip. To, uh, and, and this is uh, the, message, the mission where we are going for here. So thank you for this short presentation of Captain Hawk. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Thorsten and Jens. Um, yeah, thank you very much. This is. A it's already such a complex um, story. And I think especially the mission, I have um, two boys exactly in that target group. Um, and of course the older one, Fridays for Future and all that, that's something that I think um, they're all very conscientious of. And I think the challenge is in fact, how do you relay those messages in a way that 
um, yeah, isn't academic and condescending, but interactive. So I'm curious, I mean, this, this Captain Hogg, I'm looking at him right now, um, how, is the, how is the creation process? Do you kind of wake up in the middle of the night and this, this hog appears before you, or is it that you say, okay, environment, uh, we want to develop something to tell that story. What, what comes first? How does, how does that process look like? Uh, maybe I will answer this question. Uh, when my daughter was born three years ago, um, I wanted to create a world where I can show her how beautiful nature can be. Uh, I had the vision that children need a world where they can dive in and want the world to be protected. So I thought about a character that could help me to close the gap between both intentions, um, being on an adventure and the urgent need to pro uh, protect something. And this was the point where I came up with Captain Hawk. Um, he's cute, he's smart, he's like over. And people or children especially can relate to small cute things, of course. And they, they have this feeling of need to be protective of something that, that's cuter and maybe even smaller than them. And yeah, that was when Captain Hawk was born. Interesting. Yeah, I think it's always the best stories come from those really personal um, moments. Um, we have a question from the chat, um, of course, a compliment to the great story. And the question is, um, we, we saw a testimonial or a partner that you have from Greenpeace. So Greenpeace, are they formally a partner? Are they, how do they consult you? No, we have uh, an employee uh, who's working very, very actively at Greenpeace and we mm -hmm. have them as a sounding board. So uh, we, she brings that ideas also to the, her colleagues at Greenpeace. And uh, yeah, she's, she did a lot uh, making this aspect of climate change into that project. So yeah, that's the, the reality. And even also my seven year and 11 old kids are uh, my sounding boards at, uh, <laughs> at home for that as well. So uh, yeah. yeah. The best target group right at home. Um, and we have another question about the potential for educational media. Um, is that... Yeah, this is interesting. Of course, we are very, very deep in serious games. We do a lot mm -hmm. of learning games and, uh, for 15 years now already. Um, and uh, we are always looking at stories worth telling, not only education. So, of course, we have this a little bit in the background uh, that we are thinking of how can we transport this, uh, this really important background into stories. Um, so, yeah, we are quite skilled uh, putting... Uh, um, this kind of serious information into uh, entertaining context. So, yes, uh, there, it, but we want to create this kind of uh, um, thing in the middle, which is not only education, uh, not only entertainment, but if you learn something uh, watching Captain Hawk, uh, we have done, our, we have completed our mission, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that reflects the way that those entertainment and kind of um, educational lines. Yeah, we are. Blur also. Yeah. We are always looking at projects which have some kind of a course. Uh, mm -hmm. Course we did, for example, something which explained artificial intelligence. We did something in the past for the new Berlin Museum, where you can uh, you see climate change at coral reefs, for example. Uh, we are doing a lot of things like this. So um, yeah, it, I feel better doing something with a course than only just uh, entertain people. So yeah. for me, this is a perfect fit. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that the need, that's what the consumers are wanting more and more, even already the younger consumers, the sense of some type of a mission. Yeah. Um, and what about an enhanced book was a question. Is that something that you could imagine? Kind of a, a real, you know, kind of enhanced ebook or yeah, sure. in terms yeah, of yeah. You, you mentioned a children's book. What's kind of your, your ideal scenario there? regarding books which are enhanced with media such like ar or something like that yeah for example yeah, that yeah. Makes, makes definitely sense we are yeah. we are, yeah actually uh, we are right now doing something similar with ar regarding urban mobility for example so mm -hmm. this is a quite open field this is what i also f you introduced me being invested into a game studio for example this is what i feel very very uh, enthusiastic about because we can because of this different skills we have in this in this company uh, we can mix up this kind of conceptual ideas so mm -hmm. of course it makes sense uh, to to use this kind of technology and in the end it depends on the business case how to how to market this 
kind of products. And of course, this is one of the intentions we have attending here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very, very open to discuss uh, things like this. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's the thing we have in this community. We have definitely people from across the creative industries, be it, you know, VR, AR producers or um, publishers, classic game developers and so forth. So in terms of your ideal scenario, um, as you now kick off kind of this, this voyage with Captain Hawk, what, what do the ideal partners look like for who you and who are you really hoping to connect with? And even, you know, among the adaptations, is there something that you're kind of uh, most passionate about? What are the next steps? Uh, I think our understanding is to find someone who understands this idea of, of creating um, this world uh, and, and, and who wants to be part of this for a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. um, that, and it, it would be ideal if this, 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 this construction uh, does also look onto several media, not only mm -hmm. on one, but uh, we are open to a lot of things right now. Uh, so our ideal partner would uh, boost this project into various uh, media. And he understands what it means and he also has an understanding that this kind of media with a course have, makes sense mm -hmm. so that's that's what we want to uh, acquire as a partner for this so yeah. someone who really loves the world and really wants to go with us for a longer journey mm -hmm. um and so i mean we're happy to have you here in this community picture cip which um as i mentioned we we launched in a bid to yeah bring all these different partners together for different people from across the creative industries to look at content and to see you know where can we take it um what do you, you know, right now in this, uh, in the times that we're in, we're not connecting at events and conferences. So how do you see the role of a platform like this? And, and yeah, and how is, you know, how has that con th all those relations been for you this year? Actually, um, Jens, if you want to answer, feel free. If not, <laughs> I move forward. <laughs> um, actually, uh, I think networking is substantially for creating something new because if you only talk with yourself you only can <laughs> get only get the same quest, same answers uh, uh so for us it's very very important and uh looking into my history i'm doing it now this kind of media projects companies something like that for 20 years now and i always find very very comfortable with uh, networking with as many people as possible because you get fresh ideas you have to reflection about how you think about things so this is uh, also for me not moving or not not traveling it's a very new, it's a special situation so um yeah and uh, digital media of course has a very very special role now and formats like this i think uh, are of course not the same meeting each other mm. but but it is something in the middle. It's uh, so, yeah, move forward with this and, and we enjoy uh, being part of such kind of networks. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and I actually, funny because as you say, if we, I think the, the fruition from the different areas, because we actually have somebody asking whether Captain Hogg might even be part of a, a museum exhibition on, on climate change, I think, yeah. Could be, yes. Yeah, yes, the limits yeah. are... Um, Right. Maybe you see our background. We are looking uh, from that perspective onto projects because we do a lot of museum projects as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but uh, yeah, the original idea is to have a world and we can tell stories out of this world with this kind of combination with this natural spirits and this uh, tiny characters. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the basic idea. And it works, actually. We have a lot of ideas um, and we are very, very open for more ideas like this. Great. Well, I th I'm very happy and um, I think we're honored that, um, yeah, that we were able to do this together today, that you um, presented Captain Hogg in our community. Um, we are, yeah, we're excited to stick along for the ride and see. I mean, we're obviously also hoping to, uh, to see you in Frankfurt um, at the Arts Plus and kind of really see um, Captain Hogg come to life and maybe have some of those real life um, characters, uh, conversations happening there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I think you're also going to be uh, in the chat, or I mean, anybody in the community can definitely reach out to you, both you're in the group, reach out to you directly with uh, questions, proposals, and uh, yeah, I think the sky is the limit for this little hog, so um, yeah. <laughs> So, of course, we will also uh, contribute the pitch deck if someone is interested in that. So, uh, Great. Yeah. 
Perfect. Happy to connect and thank you very much for the uh, possibility to uh, present our IP the first time public actually. Uh, so uh, this was a premiere in some way. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank, thank you, you very, much. very much. And um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. See you in Frankfurt, hopefully. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Bye.